Hello, hello, hello. I am, it says I'm live. So let me turn my mute on and refresh my screen so I can see everybody and make sure it works. <laughs> um, this is my second time back on. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm glad to be doing these again. I hope you guys are enjoying them. <clears throat> Let me see here. Yep. Okay, it works. Let's turn that down. So, today you guys, we are going to be doing something fun. These are new to my store and I thought I would share them with you in case you are a sewist and you enjoy crafting and sewing. Um, or if you're just a customer and you're like, hey, it's cool to see how, how my stuff is made. Um, this is for you. Let me see. Okay, you guys, I need to find out where I go to get the comments. Um, <laughs> let's see. Will that work? I... Okay. This will be on YouTube. I am going to post this on YouTube as well. Um, there we go. Okay, there's the details of the video. Um, how do I hide those? <laughs> how in the world do I hide those? Okay. I'll figure this out. Oh my gosh. I'm not even going to worry about it. Alright? I'm just not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to get on with the video because I am going to post this to Facebook. Oh to YouTube so that um, if you want to go back and watch the replay on here or on my YouTube channel that will be available. I do realize not everybody has Facebook so um, I do post over there. So today we're going to be making these scrubby dishcloths. So on one side you're going to see that it's like a terry cloth and then on the other side it's like a like a mesh. And I'm going to tell you guys where I got my products and you guys are going to be so surprised at how easy this project is. Um, when I sell mine, I do sell mine in a set. These would be $10.99. You would get um, one of these scrubby dishcloths and then one of the scrubby sponges. And we're not making the sponges today. If this is something that you're interested in, I could totally show you how I make these and the feeling that I put inside. It's basically the same concept as this, except there's a feeling inside. It's a polyester. So, um, let's go ahead and I'm gonna bring you guys over to the work table so that you guys can see exactly what we're doing and we'll get right on into it. Um, I use this eight inch um, square and whoops let me turn this down I actually hi Alicia very slow okay I hope that I hope that corrects itself <laughs> I hope it corrects itself um, I cut every piece that we're gonna use here with this 8 inch square so if you don't have one of these you could totally use your ruler right and then just cut out the 8 inch squares so they're all going to be uniform they're all going to be the same size that i cut from this so the next thing you're going to want to do is layer them but i probably need to talk about the material the material i got from my local hobby lobby it is they have a couple different kinds they had like a plastic netting but but it looked more thin and what I was afraid of was when you're doing the scrubbing process that the plastic would break and tear so I opted for the more durable I think this is like a polyester more of a utility mesh so the better mesh you get the longer lasting your scrubby dishcloth will last um, and then this is just cotton fabric, just your whatever print that you choose. And this is a terry cloth. I also got this at Hobby Lobby. So I got little threads here. Uh, let me get those off. So it's just a terry cloth. And that's all we're going to use. So we're going to layer these up. 
just like this. So you're going to want to take, whoops, I'm getting ahead of myself here. You're going to want to take the cherry cloth, whatever side you want to use. Looks like this side is more fluffy. I'm going to use this side. And then you're going to take your mesh and you're just going to lay that over there. Then you're going to take your print and you're just going to lay it on top, just like that. You're going to sandwich these three pieces together. And you can pin these. I actually got some new clips. Um, <laughs> I was using, uh, I was using these. <laughs> I was using these from the office supply area. <laughs> but I invested about 10 bucks and got me a huge bag of these clips recently. And I do, I, I am glad that I did that. So if you don't have these, I say make the investment, it's worth it. So I'm just going to take these little fabric clips and I'm gonna clip them around to hold, hold my project together because we're gonna go over to the sewing machine and we're just gonna sew this together. I love these. The mesh can be a little pricey. Um, and the terry cloth can be a little pricey, but thank goodness we don't have to use a whole lot at one time, right? So I'm going to switch you guys over to my sewing machine and I've got a new angle. So when I click over to the new angle, I want you to kind of give me some input um, and let me know what you think if you like this angle uh, or you like the other angle, okay? Because this is going to be a new, a new angle, but I want to do what is best for you to be able to see what I'm doing. That's the whole point of this, right? Is so that you can see step by step, learn, and then do. So we're going to go over to my sewing machine. So here's my new angle, and we're going to sew this together. I am using a white thread. Um, Alicia says, I like pins better than clips, but that's just me. I do too. Um, I like, I like the pins too, but sometimes for me, I use these clips. Um, it just seems to be sometimes easier for me. So now we are going to make sure that we leave some turn space here. Okay. So I'm going to start sewing this about right here and I'm going to sew up a little bit and I'm going to back stitch and then we just sew all the way around and then take my clip off I think it's shaking I think it's shaking y'all around you may need to do something different. Okay, pivot and turn. Pivot and turn. Ooh, that's really shaking the camera. I'm gonna try to go slow. I thought this might be a closer angle that you guys could see. Um, so I may need to just use a tripod instead of it being attached to the table. So here's where I'm going to kind of stop so that I can leave this gap here for my turn space. And I'm gonna back stitch forward. And then I'm going to trim off and here, let's go back to the work table. So here we are, and you're gonna have your three different, okay, so you're gonna make sure that the print fabric and the mesh are together, and you're gonna pull the terry cloth away, and that is how you're going to flip this inside out. You guys see the process? I'm, I'm feeling like you guys are seeing the process and you're like, is that it? 
is that really all you do? <laughs> yep. You could trim your corners. I didn't trim my corners. I got in a hurry. But if you trimmed off your corners, let me show you. You snip them or you don't want the excess bulk, you could trim. Trim all that off. Here, let's go back. We got time. Let's go back. I guess I could show you a couple different ways. So, the bulk of the corners, you would just do this so that it's not bulky bulky. And then, if you wanted to trim off this part, use your scissors and you could just trim. Just make sure you don't cut through your stitches. That would be horrible. Um, I also have different rotary cutters. You could just gently smooth it. I also have the, you know, if you wanted it to have like a more of a, you know, or use your other shears and just kind of trim away. That's all you would do. Make a mess. Now we will find our opening just like that. And we would pull it. Let me get my phone. We would pull it. Did you trim the corners before you flip? Yeah, I just had to come back and do that. I got ahead of myself. <laughs> I got excited. <laughs> it helps so that you don't have bulky corners. I got out of my element. And then you just poke it through. Just try not to poke all the way through. Just like that. So it's a, such an easy um, project. However, the material could be a little bit pricey up front. So you would want to, um, if you were only going to make like a few of these for, your, for yourself, then I would say ask your supplier if they could just cut you um, half a yard to start with because you're going to get a whole lot and that would save you money. And I would say only get a half a yard of this, the mesh, and then this, depending on how many that you wanted. But if you're like me and you're more of a supplier and you're making these for your business, I did buy quite a bit of it to sell in my Etsy store, so it was a little more pricey for me. Okay, so here's where you're going to want to find that opening and turn it down. And this is where the clips really come in handy because um, it's going to hold this utility mesh down. Um, since there are holes, sometimes the pins don't hold real well and it tries to flip back out. So I'm just going to pin that down and I know that's where I might turn it's folded in and now we're going to top stitch. Can you believe how easy this is? Oh my goodness. <sighs> yes, so quick and easy. So um, just kind of work that how you're going to want it. Make sure it's pressed down real good. Kind of so as close as you can. Um, fourth inch or so or closer and then you're going to want to sew up and like always you know, back stitch and then sew forward and I'm using um, the longest stitch length for that pressed look and then you sew around being very careful because the mesh will catch You're going to pivot and you're just going to kind of work work these edges down and make them lay flat I'm going to press that needle in there and I'm going to work this down it looks like it's trying to roll up on me and I don't want it to roll up, I want it to be even. Okay, now this is our last 
edge, our last side to sew. I'm going to go ahead and trim off this excess. Um, thread. I got to pull it out because it got. So I'm going to go ahead and just trim it as close as I can without cutting through. Okay, now here's where I found works best for me. Instead of leaving this part open, just as is because you could totally stop here but I feel like you need to go a little further um, and secure this so I rotate it just like this I don't cut the thread I leave it just like this as you can see my needle is still down inside my fabric and then I pivot and just like we did the bowl koozies we're gonna make an X right here on this fabric and it's gonna hold this down so that when you're scrubbing your dishes it doesn't come off so I'm gonna just kind of get it started and then I'm going to sew it all the way across I'm sorry that it's shaking I'm gonna have to do something different there okay now I'm at the other corner so I'm gonna back stitch and I am going to trim this off and we're gonna do the other side okay so I turn it, get it started, back stitching, and just making an X. Back stitch, and then trim your thread. Just like that. Okay guys, look how easy that was. I'm going to move over here so I can see. Um, love how quick and easy it is. Yes, so quick and easy. Alicia, you could do this yourself. Even if you had old washcloths, you know what I mean? If you wanted to make these for yourself and you wanted to buy a pack of washcloths um, and you had some just fabric, you know, scraps, you could do this um, if you could get a hold of the utility mesh. I would buy enough to put a few in my Etsy shop. Yeah, right. That, that's what I did. You could put a hanging ribbon in. Um, that option would be totally yes. So I don't know how I can show how I could show. I should have had that as an option, but you can totally put one in. Um, yes. So see, just like that, you could quickly sew your own little scrubby dishcloth. So I had bought some from Walmart not like this but I had bought some gray ones that was kind of more of a scrubbing cloth and they worked really well until I put them in the washer and they come out and all of the edges were unraveling and I was like are you kidding me really so then I had the right idea I was like can I just make my own <laughs> for us DIYers everything was like can I make that so I kind of sought it out and I couldn't believe how easy it was and so I decided to go ahead and make the sponge and the cloth together because this is, you know, like this is for really good for like big surfaces. So after you've washed your dishes, you want to wipe down your counters or whatever. This is good for that. And then this little sponge is really good. It's like easy for your, you know, hand grip, you know, to really use. So anyway, that's these. Um, like I said, we're not going to make this today, but if you were interested, I could show you it's the same process except I use, let me see if I can roll this out here. I use a poly, uh, poly cotton batting and I put about four layers of this in it so that it's fluffy. Anyway, that's all you would have to do for that if you decided to make the sponge. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Um, if, did you like that camera angle? Because I thought I would try to get it closer to the sewing machine so that you could really see what's happening at the sewing machine. But I didn't know about the shaking. Um, I'll have to go back and watch the replay on that part. Um, if I need to set that on a tripod, probably my little thing over here, I'll set on a tripod. 
but we're gonna we're gonna continue to do this um, on Thursdays probably the same time and as I get further along I have some patterns that I have created um, that I'm working on that I've cut out I've adjusted and I'm going to move into selling patterns so not you wouldn't have to buy the pattern to actually make the product but it would be an option if you needed all the dimensions and you wanted like a printable version um, I'm actually moving into that because I've made purses the wallets other items that um, I would like to share but would require a pattern and work my work I don't want to I don't want to just give it away so it would just be a small fee for the pattern unless you just wanted to watch it and then make it yourself you could totally watch the videos they're always going to be free and then you could come up with your own creative ideas on how you would make that product for yourself customizable so I appreciate you watching me today um, that's it we're done Ta -da! and I am going to say goodbye to you I hope you have a blessed day and I will be posting this over on YouTube. So um, I will see you on the next one. God bless. Have an amazing day.